What's up, everybody? Casey Anthony, let's talk about her. Awesome, right? You know, I, I can't be the only guy, right? Honestly, I cannot be the only guy that can't be thinking right now that she's quite the eligible little bachelorette right now. <laughs> right? Think about it, right? She, we all know that she likes the party, right? We all know she likes the party, and she, uh, she's she been pent up in jail for like three years. So she knows she's like ready to just, you know, tear it up. Do we short out? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so uh, you know she's ready to just like get down, right? She's, that, this is a chick that's ready to fuck, you know. Uh, and now she's got she's got all that uh, that book deal money coming to her, you know. And then she's not gonna have to find a sitter. <laughs> so that's a perfect woman. Right? Um, <laughs> oh man! So how many people here have had an anniversary recently? Anybody? Sure, why not? Sure. How, how long have you been together? 21 years. 21 years? Cool. Cool. Good time? What is it? I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, We're not, that not all the anniversaries are. are fun, though. Uh, like, I just had the anniversary of, uh, I just lost <laughs> the, uh, are we going to start making out of this what the show is turning into? <laughs> you guys didn't pay enough to get into this, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, so weird. Um, <laughs> so yeah, not not all anniversaries are fun, though, right? I just had the the 13th anniversary of my uh, my dad dying of cancer, um, which is always great to bring up at a comedy show. Yeah. Fun times, but. Um, you know, my friends think I'm weird, you know? He thinks I'm weird. Um, because, uh... <laughs> no, but uh, he thinks I'm weird because I, uh, my friends think I'm weird because I, I, like, I, like, keep his ashes around and I'll take him places with me, you know? And I, I don't think that's weird. I think that's just a way for me and Dad to kind of hang out still, you know? Halloween's always fun. You know, last year, uh... Last year we went as two vampires that work at 7-Eleven. He worked the day shift. Next year we're going as a Nazi and a Jew. So, hey, hey, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I didn't say who was going as who, okay? I'm going as Adam Sandler and he's going as Mel Gibson. So, I don't know how you make a girl look like he hates Jews, but I think... I think we can pull it off. Um, I don't know, man. What's going on? I, uh... I'm tired of being broke. We got any broke people here? Woo! Now, I'm not talking like, I can't buy a new jet ski this year, bro. Right? now. I'm talking about, like, let's put the top ramen on layaway, bro. That's about it. <laughs> Two more payments. All mine. Um, no, man. It, 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 when you're broke, right, you have to start making sacrifices. Things change, you know? Like, like I can't afford to go out to eat anymore. I just can't, you know? And, and on those rare occasions that I do go out to a restaurant, I usually just order, like, a water and a salad, and I'll follow the really skinny girls into the bathroom with a bucket. <laughs> hey! She's not going to digest the shit. <laughs> Waste not, want not, right? There's starving kids in Winnemucca. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't look at me. She looks at me all disgusted. What, you think it's cute when baby birds do it, you know? When they're, when they're on the animal planet, it's adorable. That's a double standard if you ask me. I think that's wrong. But, uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, this is a rough economy, though. Like, uh... Looking for a job in this town really sucks. Have you guys come across this now, the, the fake job ads? They suck, right? They sucker you in with all this cool stuff. Like I saw this one was like, hey, how would you like to work in a fun co-ed environment with a bunch of Generation X people like yourselves, listening to loud music, yada yada, awesome, you know, I'm like, sweet, okay, so I call them up, they schedule me for my interview, you know, I go down there for my interview, and they tell me they want me to uh, sell Kirby vacuum cleaners.
<laughs> that is messed up, right? They did the whole bait and switch. That that's messed up, man. Like that that's like getting home at the end of the night and finding out that your date has a bigger unit than you do. You know, that's not that's not fun for anybody. Except maybe John. But um <laughs> now, like, 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 I, I guess I don't blame them for lying about the job, right? That's a shitty job, you know? Nobody nobody wants to go door-to-door -door selling $5,000 vacuum cleaners. That shit sucks, you know? To me, that's worse than being a, a crack dealer, right? Because, like, at least people want crack. <laughs> you know, right? They want that shit. You know, like, when was the last time you heard of somebody giving a blowjob in an alley to get a dust buster? Doesn't happen. <laughs> Had that dustbuster on Craigslist for weeks now. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh man. So uh, I don't know. I've been losing a little bit of weight. I've been uh, I lost weight a while ago. I uh, I was on the uh, the Michael J. Fox diet. Yeah, you know the one shakes all day and then a sensible dinner. Oh. I'll tell you what, man. The the pounds just fly off when the food won't stay on the fucking fork. I'll tell you that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 